Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. This one's going to be a quickie. Uh, I'm going to show you how to have this UI and how to place buildings where you have like the ghost or blueprint of the building and then whenever you click that building gets built. If you don't want to do an instant build, you want to have like build animations uh, like in Age of Empires or something. I'm not going to show you that, but what I would say is you have a transitionary object that handles the animation of the object being built. And that's not too hard to implement. You can use the same method that I show here. All right, so let's get started. So to start off, I'm gonna assume that you already have your structure prefab. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to make a copy of that prefab, gut it so it's just the model, and then make sure that you put some kind of transparent material or texture on it. In this case, I just have a white transparent material. And this is gonna be your quote unquote blueprint. All right, so now we're gonna wanna add some behavior to this thing. So create a script called blueprint script and attach to your blueprint. This is going to do two things. It's going to make sure that our object stays uh, glued to wherever your mouse is so that you can choose where you wanna build. And it's also going to destroy the blueprint and make the real object that you want whenever you click. So make sure you attach that to your blueprint and let's open up Visual Studio so we can start coding this thing. All right, so we're gonna need two things. We're gonna need a raycast hit object and we're going to need a game object to create whenever we destroy the blueprint and we build our real object. This next part is pretty basic. We do a raycast from our mouse position out into the camera and wherever it hits in the terrain is where we're going to set our new uh, position of our blueprint object to be. For this next part, we want to make sure that whenever the user presses the mouse button, we destroy the blueprint and we create the real object that we want. Okay, so now we can copy this entire chunk of code, put it into update, and then we can take that out of start since we don't really need it. So now, on every frame update, it's going to move that blueprint object to wherever our mouse is. This thing isn't transparent because I forgot to make it transparent, but it's pretty much the same thing. All right, so the next thing we're gonna wanna do is create a UI element and we're gonna make a button. So the button automatically comes with a canvas, which if you don't know how Unity's UI works, a canvas is just what holds all your UI elements. So if we open up this canvas, we'll see that we have access to this button and we can start changing some of the properties of it. Uh, I'm gonna make it a little bit larger so it's easier to click on. And we can also start attaching some scripts to this canvas object as well. So go back to the canvas and we're going to create a script called like uh, build canvas script build barracks. Yeah, that's what we're gonna call it, build barracks. So we're gonna have a public game object in here and that's going to be the blueprint. This script is going to be what actually takes the blueprint and puts it into the game whenever we click in on that button. And this script is going to have one function uh, with void return type and it's going to instantiate that blueprint. That's all that it's gonna do. So now if we come back out here into the editor and we click on the canvas, we're gonna to wanna to make sure that it has that game object assigned. So we give it the blueprint. Now we go back to our button and we see that there's a thing that says on click. So we're going to go down here and select the canvas, uh, select that build barracks script and then look for the spawn barracks blueprint function. So what this is gonna do is whenever we click that button, it's going to go to that <laughs> canvas grab the script and then activate that function. And so now you can see whenever we click that button, it's spawning that thingy and then we can move it around in the world and whenever we click, it disappears and we get a real tangible canvas instead of that ghost thing. Uh, and yeah, we can still select all those little balls that are congregating around that thing. So uh, hope you guys liked it. Just a short one, some more in-depth videos and some cool stuff coming down the pipeline. Thanks.